we are on part two of a recipe called creamy roasted garlic butternut squash pasta made by Half Baked Harvest. Um, what we've done thus far, let me grab my microwave grips, um, is we've made some butternut squash. We roasted it in the um, air fryer. You can make it in the oven as well. Um, I added, you were supposed to use prosciutto, prosciutto um, but I used just regular baking because that's what I had on hand. Um, we're gonna save that to put on top of the pasta when we're done. So I'm just gonna pull those pieces out of our uh, modular sheet pans that I actually use right in the air fryer. All right, somebody is not happy. Hey, baby girl, what's going on? He didn't let you what? He didn't let you eat the yogurt. Oh, well that's because we shouldn't be eating yogurt before dinner, right guys? Oh my goodness. So we're just gonna add, um, this is the Flex Plus food processor portion. So we're just gonna add the butternut squash. It's about two cups, give or take, of the um, butternut squash cube that we roasted just so that it was nice and tender. I also have um, some minced garlic. Her recipe said to use um, garlic cloves, but I had lots of minced garlic on hand. And then um, we're just gonna add this other sheet pan in here. And then all I need to do is add, I believe uh, one or two other ingredients. I know ricotta, but I can't remember if there's something else I have to add to this mix. I think it was the garlic, which is already roasted with the butternut squash. So we're just gonna use my little um, small set of tongs to um, get everything out of the uh, pan so I don't make my hands so dirty. Then I'm gonna use, this is the mini measure all. I have it set to a half cup on the maroon side so then um, we can put dry ingredients or in this case, uh, more of your like kind of sticky ingredients because ricotta is one that if you put it in the dish, a regular measuring spoon, you might have to like kind of scrape it out. So I'm gonna put it in this guy because the plunger cleans the, uh, the uh, measuring cup out really, really nicely. All right, and maybe just a little bit more. All right, and then let's double check here. Butternut squash, garlic, and the ricotta is all that needs to go in here. And then we're just gonna set this to um, mix and we're gonna puree it. So you can see that completely cleaned off. All I have to do is kind of scrape off and really there's not even that much. The, the ricotta is not super, super sticky, but this is basically clean. Um, obviously I will wash it. You can even throw it in the um, dishwasher if you want to. Um, I tend to hand wash mine just because we use it so often, um, but we're going to put the lid on the food processor, lock it in place, and then there are two pieces. The base, the, uh, the actual mechanism that makes everything run, and then I have a battery. Not sure how long this battery is gonna last. I've used it several times now and have not recharged it, so I have the other one sitting here because it does come with two. So we snap the base on. There we go. And then um, put the battery on top, and then this button is what's going to run this. Um, I did lock that, good. I'm gonna turn this up all the way. Oh, and I waited too long. The power lock went on so it doesn't um, so if you have kids around it, it locks it so that they can't run it if you don't start it right away. But then I'm just gonna hold this. Did I turn off again? I'm being too slow. I'm telling you how to do this and not paying attention. All right, there we go. It may also be that my battery is dead, so we'll see. But we're just gonna run this until it purees, which the um, butternut squash came out pretty uh, tender, so it shouldn't take too long. While this is um, pureeing, I do have um, some butter browning on the, or in the semen saute pan, and then we're gonna add this, and that's gonna be our sauce. And then I have uh, fettuccine that I cooked on the stove as well, and I have a cup of the um, pasta water to add to this to kind of thin it out a little bit. We're gonna add a half cup and then maybe add more if we need to. So, let me pause that, and we'll just pop this part off. Let's see what our, oh, that looks, so good. <laughs> um, I am impressed because I am no chef, so this looks absolutely amazing. Um, it is pretty thick, so for sure you will um, want to add that reserve um, water to 
to this because it is not quite a sauce right now. Again, all we're going to add to it beyond this is the, um, the butter and the water, which actually let me pop over here and check on the butter quick. So our butter is browning, so we do need to get this into uh, the skillet here quickly. All right, there we go. Put this back on there. We'll just start this up and make sure everything is pureed nice and well. Last step is going to be to take this over to the stove and add it to our saute pan. So let me swing the camera over so you can see what we've got going on over there. And let's, um, let's see here. Use my mixing scrape to clean off this blade. So add that to the mix. I may have this on the flip side. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So I put butter in here as well as some um, rosemary and herb seasoning. Um, half baked harvest recipe calls for some fresh sage and rosemary. I do not typically have fresh herbs on hand, so we are using um, a Pamper Chef seasoning mix to give the flavors uh, to the pasta sauce. So you can see that this is relatively thick right now. The butter is obviously going to thin it a little bit. But I do need to make sure that I add some of the uh, pasta reserve um, water to this as well. combined and then what we're gonna add next is we have two cheeses that are gonna go in here I shredded up some Gouda cheese in the double grater so I have the it's already pre-measured to a half cup and then I just need to put a third cup of Parmesan cheese to our sauce add the pasta to this and then we're gonna spr sprinkle the what would be um, what I used instead of that was the bacon I can never say that word <laughs> prosciutto there it is all I can keep thinking of is Prosecco, but that is a wine. <laughs> so you can tell where my head's at. But anyway. And this literally looks phenomenal, guys. Um, I obviously only used about a half cup of the reserved pasta water. So um, I could add more to this depending on how thick. We'll see once I add the cheeses if we need to thin this out a little bit. It is relatively thick, so I think it's more of a personal preference what you um, want your sauce to be like. First, we've got to give this a taste. Oh, wow. Um, butternut squash, it is the hidden wonder um, that my household did not really eat before now. It is definitely gonna be on the menu more often. So um, I'm gonna pop the uh, mini measure all down to a third cup. That's how much Parmesan cheese we need. And then, like I said, I already have the half cup of Gouda. Uh, to do add the pasta to the sauce. Yeah, um, literally we're just gonna add these two things yet and then put the pasta in to combine everything together and then it's gonna be time to eat. So let's put in our Gouda. And where did I put the pasta? Stir 
this around. And since this was the first time that I've made this recipe, I didn't drain my pasta yet, so I'm not quite ready to add it to uh, the sauce because I wasn't sure if I'd need more of the water, if, um, if the cup would be enough. So I didn't drain it just in case because I don't want to add um, regular water to it. Um, but I do believe I'm going to add a little bit more just to thin this out a little bit. Actually, maybe what I'll do is instead of draining the pasta, I'll use these awesome little gadgets. Let me show you um, a device that my kitchen definitely needed. And that was these guys, the pasta tongs. So you literally can take and grab the pasta out of your dish. Phenomenal. And um, then since this sauce is just a little bit thick, the uh, leftover water that's on the fettuccine isn't really going to affect anything. Um, it'll just thin that pasta sauce out a little bit more, which is what I think we're all gonna prefer. And let me just give you um, a taste of what we're working with here. Look at that. Phenomenal. So I'm gonna mix the rest of the pasta in here. We're gonna to top it with the leftover, or not the leftover, the actual um, couple pieces of bacon that I cooked the butternut squash with. And then I'm gonna add, um, shh, don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna add a couple scoops of enrichables to this because there's not really much protein in here due to the fact that the meat is the little bit of bacon that we have. Um, so I'll probably add the pea protein and maybe some super veggie just to give it an amp because the super veggie is a pretty deep orange color so it'll match quite well um, and then we're gonna serve it so let me know if you'd like this recipe and I will talk to you again soon